Hi everybody, my name is Wallace Weaver. Hi, my name is Monica Hall. And we're just going to tell you a little bit about um, how we got involved with Esper and uh, some things we've been working on lately. So um, again, my name is Wallace. I am a political science major and senior at Seton Hall University. Um, I live right outside the Philadelphia area, and I got involved with Esper a couple years back um, when a friend of mine uh, reached out to me and told me to come to a meeting. And I saw the, uh, the grassroots uh, organizing model that they had and the work that they're doing with various communities throughout the country, and especially what they're doing in New Jersey. And it really gravitated and really related to me. Um, I, I have a lot of family members that, that didn't get the opportunities of a great education that I did. And I know that's not fair, and I know that students for education reform is working to solve that achievement gap and solve those problems, so I immediately uh, signed up to join. Um, what did you even get into, uh, Monica? Why did you join Esper? Well, wow. <laughs> I joined Esper because Esper reminded me of a youth program called YMS that I was a part of in high school. And it was an education advocacy group. So because I saw some of the same values, I immediately signed up when I heard about Esper. Um, so I know, I know you're from Newark, born and raised. Um, and they have this really exciting uh, mayoral campaign going on. I know you've been working on it. Just tell me some of the things you're doing. Okay, sure. So one of my projects for this year is Mayor Watch. And basically, we're going to have Esper members follow mayoral candidates, and we're going to write about them. We're going to go to their events, and we're going to host our own events so that we can make sure that the college community and the local community has all the information necessary to make an informed decision. So we want to also register voters and pressure these candidates to have the strongest platform possible. Um, all right. Um, this uh, past summer, I was involved with Esper uh, through CCEJ, Community Campaign for Educational Justice, where I and about like, 30 other uh, students from across the country gathered in Denver to um, work grassroots organizing on five different uh, school board races and a ballot initiative to get some better uh, school finance reform in place so that uh, student education is better funded. And we got the ballot. Uh, on the, we got the initiative on the ballot by about 3,000 votes, which was really close, but uh, very exciting. So we're looking forward to uh, the election results in November. And um, recently, in the last couple of weeks, we just launched uh, Real Esper Voices, which is a new blog run by students for students. And I was fortunate enough to be uh, named one of the editors for uh, Real Esper Voices. And my only mission is to make sure that uh, we're getting as much information about the education movement to our students across the country that they can use it in their various channels. That's really cool. <laughs> Real Esper Voices. <laughs> yeah, so uh, check out the, uh, the blog online, Real Esper, uh, realespervoices.org, and um, post some stuff on there. Show us how you're uh, getting involved with the education movement, and uh, we look forward to hearing from you. All right, thank you guys. Bye. Oh no, did it close like that? It just went black. When did it go black? Towards the end. Oh no, I hope it I hope it <laughs>